we are going to be doing mandala painting and we have our paint set, some toothpicks, and we've got toothpicks, some little mini wooden dowels, and some match stick ones that are square. Um, we've got a wet paper towel on a plate, and then if you have a piece of wax paper, we're going to use this when we're mixing our paints. In case you want to mix any colors, um, this will keep your paint from drying out before you can finish using it. If you don't have any toothpicks or matchsticks, you could use some Q-tips and you can pull off the edge of the Q-tip to get a sharper point so you can have a different pattern to just start with. So what we're gonna do, if you have time and if you have maybe black or a darker color or a solid color, it's nice to paint the whole thing and then let it dry, but we're just gonna go right in and start our painting. Put a big spot right in the middle and you can kind of make this one big or small. I got mine a little off centered, so I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger around that way. How's yours? You're starting with the small one in the middle? Yep. That's great. Cool. All right, um, I'm gonna save these Actually, hold on. Oh, we can put these on your paper up here because we'll probably use them again if they already have a paint color in them. And so the technique we're gonna start with is we're gonna do a cross. If you're worried that you have too much paint on here, you can dab it on a piece of paper to test it to see how it's gonna look before you put it on your rock because you really kind of only have one chance on your rock. So we're gonna do some different size ones. I'm actually gonna start off, I'm gonna do another Q-tip um, at the beginning here and do this one a little bit larger. So I'm gonna make a cross. I'm gonna, from how I'm sitting, I'm gonna put a dot at the top and a second one at the bottom. And then I'm gonna put a cross on this side on my right and then on my left. So now it's across that direction. We've got top, bottom, right, left. And for this one, I'm gonna fill in, I think just one dot on each side. If they're spaced out a little bit farther, you can fit in two dots. This one I'm trying to put a little bit closer to my big, oops, and then I, Got it on top there, that's okay. So now I'm gonna actually change sizes. And this is where you can kind of do whatever you want. I'm gonna see what the square one looks like. The square one didn't, I thought it would be a little bit more square, but I think you kind of have to it's the second one that looks a little more square. You have to kind of wipe the paint off and then do it. So I'm gonna try to get this square in here and I'm gonna go all the way around in between each of these. Of this one, I'm gonna go, so two, I'm gonna go back to the cross so I've got two on the cross here, on the top part of the cross, and I'm gonna go two on the bottom part of the cross. And this yellow probably needs to be a little bit more, it's not as thick. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'll go two on this side. I'm gonna go back to making another big color I'm gonna try a red I'm gonna keep my cross pattern here so there's my top there's my bottom here's my right and I'm gonna turn it around to do my left so I don't get it on my hand left 
So now that I have that cross, I'm gonna figure out how many more I can fit in here. For this one, I'm gonna do two big ones. I'm gonna go one, two. Actually, I probably should have done three. But you know, we're just gonna leave it there. Got one here. Looks a little bit better on that side. That one probably would have been better for three, but we'll go one there and one there. If you want to mix colors, that's what this is great for. Um, you can pick in whichever colors you want here. And then once I have these, I can probably make a different orange. I'm gonna put this in the middle of the red so it adds a little more depth, having a lighter color in the middle of the red. You start to get it all over your hands if you start painting the bottom of it. Why would you do that, Mom? I went too far down. I can tell. So this is our first time, not too bad. I think it's fun to add the extra little detail with the toothpicks and layering the different colors on top is really nice. You can look online and find lots of really cool different patterns um, and different directions to take it. We just did the simple cross, um, but there's other ones you can do that do a swirl, so it kind of looks like a shell. Um, but basically get some rocks, get some paint, and have a good time doing mandala paintings. Yay! That does look much better. Hee hee hee.